all I have to say is uh, arm the Brits because, uh, you know, they got this, I was reading on Defense News uh, that first time since the 1940s, actually World War II, that the entire uh, British defense staff is coming over to meet with the United States on March 25th this month, 2013. And actually what it is is over, not, <laughs> I guess it's uh, possible threats, because, well, you know, the British United States and Australia and Canada is like, you know, pretty much <laughs> works together. That's what it is, uh, very much so. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it's they're, they they the British the entire British self defense staff defense staff is coming over to the United States on March 25th. Actually, it's over budget constraints or budget cuts. So uh, you know, it looks like. Uh, you know, there's some, you know, like I guess that's serious problems. But, you know, the thing is, I always say is, you know, they ought to get rid of these damn laws they got going on in the U.K. with guns. And uh, just bring them back, bring back the guns, you know. There's a lot of good stuff the British actually produced, you know, especially from uh, Lewis Machine and Tool. They got some great weapons they make. And uh, everybody should actually be required by the law to have one. Maybe it would be the better law than having it the other way around. And you wouldn't have to worry about paying so much for defense. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, this is very true, you know. Like, why is, why is it like in a lot of the Western, actually in the United States, probably, the average person, soldier, Marine, that goes into the military, they're pretty much pre-trained because a lot of these people... You know, they knew about weapons beforehand. That's what the civilian marksmanship program was about, right? It'd be great if they could have something like that in the UK. And I know the deal that's going on is, uh, you know, it probably would have happened here in the United States, except for the Constitution actually says that all citizens have the right to bear arms. So, you know, it's like without that particular amendment to the Constitution, in the U.S., the same thing would have happened already, you know. But I actually kind of have a good feeling that in a lot of places that there's a lot of people probably in the U.K., in Australia, and in Canada that have not given up their weapons, I'd imagine. So, I mean, they're not going to announce it. <laughs> they're not going to announce it. But the thing is, uh, you know, if there's so many budget restraints coming about in the United States and the UK on the military, and then they're going to have to work together against, you know, whatever threats there are. I don't know, they're just like, what threats, right? Well, you know what? Really, what are you worried about the most? You're worried about, you know, attacking your own homeland. So if everybody is armed, you ain't going to have to worry about it. And that's that simple. So common sense goes a long way. But you know, this is not the will of the British people for the most part, it's the will of the elite. The elite want everybody disarmed. So, I don't know, maybe you need a new Magna Carta, you know, put the damn sword to the king's throat at running meat or something, you know what I mean? So, but, you know, when you think about it, what's the real solution to defense of a nation when it's costing too much money? Arm the population. Arm the population. Actually, you know, there's been a lot of times, uh, if you look back in history, and all what happened in all these different wars, I mean going way back, a lot of times, um, you know, even the Romans did this, you know, they'd open up the arms to other people that they would need to defend the borders against. So, arming the actual population is actually uh, a cheap way to <laughs> bring up bolster your defense, and you don't need to have a defense budget. It's that much less you pay. And, you know, in the United States, I mean, like, freaking half the budget, practically, is over defense. I mean, I mean, you know, all they have to do is uh, have a more of a civilian marksmanship program, um, you know, free rifle ranges and stuff like that. I mean, there's so much governmental land out there that isn't doing anything. Free rifle ranges everywhere. And, you know, have the military, which has a lot of downtime sometimes, you know, supervise the rifle ranges and things like that or whatever, or, you know, park the forest uh, park service or something. But, you know, the thing is, um, you know, it's a simple way to actually cut down on the defense uh, cost of a nation. And, you know, when it comes right down to it, you know, like in the United States, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, 
you never know what some crazy government might do, but it could be at some point in time, you know, if the United States got weak economically and the dollar fell apart and there was all these tensions, somebody might try to move to take over the whole United States at one point in time. Who the hell knows? But, you know, just the fact that all citizens are well-armed, pretty much, I, they, I don't think they can do it. They would just be impossible. It would be like, you know, you know, you talk about the U.S. trying to go into Afghanistan. It's pretty tough to freaking uh, control things. <laughs> it would probably be ten times worse to over here. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people over here that probably wouldn't fight back, but then there's some that would. There's some that would, and that's really what it takes. So, you know, the white, white thing to the, uh, you know, the U.K. is, hey, arm the citizens. You want to save money on it? <laughs> Defense budget, and the U.S. wants to save money on defense budget. Let's not have an elite, a meeting of the, you know, the military elite and try to figure it out. Let's arm the populations. And uh, that's just the way it should be. And it's not going to increase crime, not at all. Actually, it lowers crime, and that's been proven so many times. So it's a simple solution, no cost involved. So arm the Brits, right? Arm the Brits, that's the way I got to say.